Hey, how you doing? Kelly Hinton, back with you, Black Tree TV. I'm on the set here of Lincoln Heights with the most talented brother in possibly the universe right now. Uh, that's my man, Russell Hornsby. Uh, thank you for being here, my brother. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about, uh, as far as your being a role model, being a black father on, on, a, on a black television show? You know, I really, I, I just think uh, it's an important time right now. I, I think that uh, you know the, the, the state of uh, listen, the state of the black families is, is is always one that can that can need some uh, uh, repackaging, reimaging, if mm -hmm. you will. You know, and I, I think Lincoln Heights provides that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's very rare, if at all, that we've seen uh, the, the the black the, the father as the, the true head of the household. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, of this, of this uh, black nuclear family. And what's, what's wonderful about it is that it is just that, it is a black nuclear family. So you have this, this father who is, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a father and, and he's a husband. Mm -hmm. and, and also as serving as a police officer, mm -hmm. which means he's there to serve his community, mm -hmm. which means he's there to serve his people who are in his neighborhood who look like him, mm -hmm. who, you know, who uh, they all understand each other. You know, and I think that's important too. You know, sort of uh, living, you know, uh, where you work. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and also, you know, seeing that, you know, so you have this this uh, this, this black man and this black woman who are showing uh, just immense amounts of love for each other. Yeah. You know, and and love for their children as well. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you're, you're you're we're seeing these wonderful dynamics that in, initially start off. I think when we first started, we said this is a black family drama, yeah. and and you admit to that. But the hope is, is that the show transcends itself. Mm -hmm. You know that that our 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 stories, our our themes, mm -hmm. become universal. Mm -hmm. You know, in that, and and so I think you know by now, as we move into our third season, mm -hmm. we're we're now this family drama mm -hmm. that's on television that really speaks about some honesty, mm -hmm. integrity, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, and just a level of truth that you really don't see. Yeah. You know, that, that, that type of parenting that you can identify with, the, the type of uh, love, the type of interaction between a man and a woman, a husband and wife that you can uh, identify with. And mm -hmm. I think that's what Lincoln Heights is setting out to do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's setting out to bring about, um, I guess, you know, we're, we're looking at uh, sort of shifting the, the, the paradigm, if you will, mm -hmm. you know, and, and really bring and really let people know that families do exist, yeah. you know, uh, not just the black family, but families exist. Yeah. And here we sit as a, as a family that uh, wants to, to speak to truth like we've never seen it, mm -hmm. you know, I mean. As I, I when I hearken back to the days of I, I modeled Eddie off of my my father and, and uncles, yeah. you know, who told you what was, what was really going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, it was like, yo, man, you you do something wrong, you are gonna get hurt. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's gonna be me and you. And yeah. and even when you're speaking to your young your daughters or whatever like that, hey, you know, mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm the head man around here. Mm -hmm. You got to know that. Yeah. You know. And those are those old-fashioned themes of, of parenting, yeah. you know, that we've gotten away from yeah. when, we, when we look at television today. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I think it's refreshing for parents who watch the show with their children to say, man, that's, I like that. Yeah. I, remember, I remember how that used to go down. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can identify it with that. And, and I think it, it, it allows kids to even to see something that it, at, at a first glance it might be foreign to them. Mm -hmm. But they know it's right. But it's no, it's right and it's real. And it's real, and exactly. It's real. Definitely. Hey. Hey, Mark. Sure, Mark. Action. Take a beat, Russell. Back on one. All right, go. yourself back a little Russell and that'll look like.
Cut. Cut. Definitely. Now, now you, you brought up a couple of very interesting points. Now, from the first season to this season, mm -hmm. right, do you find that it's a progression of the, your character? When we started, we were really, the police, the policing of Eddie Sutton's policing was more procedural. Right. Now it's become more community, more yeah. familiar. Yeah. So therefore, we're actually, we're going into the community, we're reprising a lot of characters mm -hmm. from our first season and our second season so, so, so that our viewers you know, can see recognizable faces. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and, you know, and in certain things, I mean, it's not just, and we're not talking about just uh, issues, we're talking about just, uh, or I guess, just criminal aspects. Yeah. Of we're just talking about community issues. Yeah. You know what's going on at schools School, yeah. and 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 you know the community center and you know just helping seeing a um, uh, a sort of a hand given yeah. to even some of these young people. Yeah. You know and sort of I guess trying to reflect what's happening going on in society when you're talking mm -hmm. about um, community building and, and trying to build certain be be an institution building. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I think that's what. That's how the show has progressed. Mm -hmm. Now, now it, it's interesting. You're from Oakland originally. Um, now, you've, you, being a native of California, uh, how do you feel th this program, and do you feel it has a responsibility with all the, with the drama that's going on with black men and the LAPD? For you to be a black police officer, LAPD police officer on television, how do you feel, I guess, Lincoln Heights, how do, do, do they have any responsibility of possibly mending the, the relationships between blacks and the police? Well, you know, all we can do is, is, is change our image one step at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not here to say that, you know, there, there are not ills within the, whether it be the LAPD or OPD yeah. or anywhere, yeah. there are. But all what we're basically saying is that this individual, Mm -hmm. This police officer mm -hmm. is here to serve his community, is here to hold his fellow police officers accountable, is here to be an accountable uh, figure, an accountable person in his neighborhood, in his community, and within his family. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about, when you, when you talk about a man who's a police officer, okay, so you look at one image as a police officer, but then once you have to go inside that man's home, mm -hmm. and once you see how he, how he deals with his wife, how he deals with his children, mm -hmm. how he deals with his parents, you get to understand in depth a lot more about who that man is yes. and what makes him up, what, makes, what his makeup is about, right? Yeah. So then therefore, what, it, what, it, what that does is it spins everything around. Mm -hmm. So now we're saying, there's, you know, there, are, there is good within the police force. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, uh, there are police officers, who, who, the boys in blue, who are there to serve and protect. Yeah. And there are men just like Eddie Sutton mm -hmm. who serve on the police force, whether they be white or black. Mm -hmm. They are there. Mm -hmm. And this person exists. So all, you, all we're really trying to do is bring about change one step at a time. Mm -hmm. and, and so it, whether it be uh, restoring people's faith in, a, in the police force or in the police officer or restoring people's faith in the black family restoring our faith mm -hmm. as people of color, as black folks in the black family. Yeah. We just do it one step at a time. We can't, we can't serve everybody yeah. and we'd be <laughs> foolish to try. That's right. yeah, you know what true. I mean? That's true. But we just, we serve who we can and those who watch it, they take whatever it is that they can get from it mm -hmm. and let that be food for thought and then move forward. Uh, yeah. Now, as far as, as far as film, okay, you know, you are a theater actor, yeah. okay? Do you, do you like film, television? I know you love film and television, but how is it different, I guess, uh, working in, on a play uh, versus working on, on, on a television show? Well, I, I think that uh, you know, doing work on stage is for me. Yeah. Doing work on, on, on television or in a movie is, is you're serving so many different masters. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're doing a film or you're doing a TV show, mm -hmm. it's not yours. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what I mean? They, they say that um, television is the writer's medium and movies are the director's medium. Mm -hmm. Well, stage is the actor's medium. Mm -hmm. Because the fact of the matter is, is that you, it, but it's all a collaboration. Yeah. But when you walk into that, into that rehearsal hall, when you're first starting a play, there's the writer and there's the director. Now they're there to help you inform your work. Mm -hmm. 
They help you, you know, to inform the material or what have you. Now you take part of that information, you synthesize it, mm -hmm. and you take it in, and you, over a four week period, you chisel away and chip away to find that character. Yeah. And they'll give you pointers and they'll say this, but once that, once that stage opens, that play is yours, that, that, that part is yours, mm -hmm. and you can take it and move it and shake it however you want to. Yeah. So that, that, that theater becomes the actor's medium. Mm -hmm. And so when I, when I go and I do a play, I have to go do a play to find, to, to, to deeply enrich in my life yeah. once again, yeah. uh, to, to make myself whole yeah. again. Uh, when, I'm, when, I, when I come to the movies, you know, you're, you're there to, to learn something about the camera, you're, you're there to tell a different type of story mm -hmm. that you hope will impact more of the masses. You know, it's like, uh, what do they say? When you do a, a, a play, you want to be moved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what happens with what I, what I think when you're doing a play or, or something of substance. You know, when, when you're doing television, it, there's important things happen, good things happen. Yeah. But you're not always moved. Yeah. yeah. You know, always. And so we're in, it's in a different medium. Now, it's fun. <laughs> television is fun because. You take that training that you've that you've got that you've gained on the theater, and you and you have to mold it and shape it a different way, mm -hmm. and uh, and find different you find different aspects of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know when you come back to television, you know because you can't you can only use a part of you. Yeah. You know when you're doing it on the stage, it's all of you. All of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 